This is Eugene Penrickovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus A53U a laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Before we do anything with any laptop computer, we want to remove the battery. And the way you remove the battery is you slide the two levers on the side of the battery out. This one's, the one on the left is locking, and the one on the right is spring-loaded. So you just slide it out, and then slide the battery out. Now that the battery is out, we can work on the laptop safely. In order to get to the screen, we have to remove the screen bezel, and in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws that are securing the screen bezel, and they're at the bottom, and they're covered by some rubber covers. So we have to remove those. Okay, before we start, we're going to go over some tools we need. We're going to need an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade to remove the rubber covers, a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck, an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit, PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size, and also, just in case, a smaller PH0 bit. I'm not sure we need it. If we need it, we will have it just in case. Okay, so we're going to start and we're going to remove the rubber covers that are covering up the screws. So we have one. And what I like to do is put them on the side so I don't lose them. And two. Now that we have that done, we're going to remove the two screws at the bottom. And we're in this screwdriver is not working for some reason. Let's try on the left side. Definitely not. Okay. We're going to try a different pH 1 bit, see if that locks better, and that one locks better. So I believe I had a bad pH 1 bit, so forgive me for my transgression. Okay, we'll put the screws to the side. One. And two. Now that the screws are removed, we can remove the screen bezel. The way I like to do that is put my fingertips on the screen side and start lifting the plastic up and you will start hearing the snapping sounds. That means that the screen bezel is snapping off in the screen assembly, which is a good thing. And we just slowly work our way around the bezel. If you get stuck on a part that doesn't want to come off, go to a different place and keep moving. And then go to the bottom, like so. And we appear to be stuck on the corner. And what I did there is just I kind of pulled the bezel outward from the screen and then lifted it up. And that freed it up. So take your time on this. This is probably the hardest part. But it's almost off. We just appear to be stuck around the hinge covers. And so what I like to do in this case is use the metal tweezers to lift up the hinge covers and now that the bezel is off. Okay, this is a 15.6 inch LED screen and for this type of screen it's mounted on the side to metal mounting brackets with some screws and we can see if we can get to these screws without disturbing much. And you can see that the screws are covered up by some plastic pieces. So we have to put forward the screen from the screen assembly. And in order to do that, we have to remove the two screws at the top. <coughs> so we take one. Now for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile. 
on the side so that when I'm putting the screen back together, I know which screws go where instead of having them all mixed up. One and two. Okay, we can see if we can tilt the screen from the screen assembly far enough to get to the screws. We probably can, but I have another trick that will help us make the job a little bit easier. I loosen up the, two, the screws on the bottom that are holding the hinge to the back of the screen assembly, and that will help us tilt the screen forward a little bit more so we can have better access to the screws on the sides. Now when you're putting the laptop back together, make sure to tighten those again. Okay, so there's four screws on each side. And we remove them one by one. And for this one, we probably need to use a metal tweezers to get it out. I lost that one, but don't worry. I will find it. I will use a replacement. One, two, three. You can usually judge the quality of a laptop computer by how many screws are used to mount the screen to the screen assembly. Usually the less expensive ones have two screws on each side and the better ones have three or four. And this one has four, so obviously it's a quality laptop. So we keep going. Four screws on the other side and this one is stuck again. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can use the tweezers to remove it without losing it. And I got it. When you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit because when you release all the screws, the screen won't fall down on you, fall forward on you. Oops, lost that one. I'm clumsy today, but I have more screws. Okay, you got that one. All right, the screen is now free from the metal mounting brackets, and we slowly tilt it forward. Make sure nothing's getting it stuck, and we put it down. Okay, for this type of screen, there's only one connector, which we have to remove, and there's some adhesive tape on top of the connector, which we have to lift up before we remove the connector. And I use my fingernails, or you can use a exacto knife to lift up this tape. And be careful so you don't damage the connector when doing this. Okay. And typically there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable. Someone wants to do a chat. I'm sorry, I can't chat right now. Okay, and we pull the connector out. We just pull it out straight out. Now, uh, the biggest source of trouble that I see with people re replacing their own screens is the connector is not reinserted properly. So I'll give you a brief tutorial how to do that. So you, when you put it back in, you feel not here two, you feel two clicks that snapping it back in. And let's get a close up of what it's supposed to look like. And uh, between the two, two edges of the connector, there should not be a gap in the seam. It should be flush. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like exactly like this one. And then you have a good connection. Okay, so next, let's take a look at the screen so you can get the right screen. We'll pull the connector out again. And we take a look at the screen. It's just a standard 15.6 inch LED screen with a connector on the bottom left, which is the standard location. And the model or a part number for this screen is LTN 156AT02. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen. Now, when you get your screen in, most likely you will not have the same part number, but there's five or six different 
manufacturers that make the exact same screen and your screen will be compatible. Okay, uh, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the repair, and also we have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship you is not compatible, and my camera went out of focus, if the screen we ship you is not compatible, we'll replace it with a compatible screen. To order a screen from us, please go to uh, www.screensurgeons.com. On the bottom, click Buy a Screen, and then on the next page, there will be a short form for you to fill out with your email and your laptop model number, and we'll email you the link to the right screen. Okay, uh, that's it. Once you do have your new screen, connect it back up, connect it to the metal mounting brackets, Make sure you tighten the two screws at the bottom or you'll damage your hinges. Put the two screws back in at the top. Snap the screen bezel back on and put the two screws on the bottom and you should be done. And that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you.